You knew something special was going on today when we pulled up at 5.15 and the parking lot was starting to get full already mm-hmm. with women that wanted to meet Donnie Wahlberg. I gotta meet him. He's my destiny. <laughs> and Jordan Knight as well in studio this morning. How are you guys? Very well. The first girl who greeted me came running up with a Jordan Knight t-shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 check this out. Al. <laughs> I, somebody had a box of uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and I went and grabbed a, a donut out of the box, and they go, that's Donnie's. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah. Has that been happening to you guys, though, for like 20-something years now, where fans get locked on to one of you? It's like they call dibs on you. It's it's like it, it's like they share, you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> no, they're it's very like, territorial. They are. <laughs> they, no, they're territorial. Like if me and Jordan walk downstairs, and the girl with the Jordan T-shirt runs over to me, then one of the girls with a Donnie T-shirt might say, "Hey, back off!" But they they sh- it's an equal opportunity fan base. Believe me, it's like <laughs> I, I did a show last week in Canada, and the half the crowd had on Joe McIntyre T-shirts. It's all good. <laughs> It's you know it's it's all new kids first and foremost you know what I mean we all may have a f- other fans outside of it whatever from different things solo projects or acting or whatever but you know it's all it's all new kids it's all in yes. the family it's all in the family always I know we say this every time you guys are in but seriously you have and I'm going I'm racking my brain trying to sort of dismiss this theory but I really do believe you guys have the most hardcore fans really out of anybody yeah out of anybody that we ever have in here. It's you guys. I mean, it's calls. I'm sure by the time we're done here, we'll get calls from Australia mm-hmm. and Germany. I got an email this morning from somebody in Kuwait. That yeah, said you that guys are worldwide today, for sure. For, sh- for, for sure. sure. Yeah. I mean, you can track that kind of thing. And your fans are just so hardcore, man. Yeah, I think um, we've evolved um, into more like a, a younger version of the Grateful Dead or something with our <laughs> fans. Yeah, I mean that in the best of ways. You know, it's like the Grateful Dead... Um, eventually, I mean, I think they have one hit record in history, but uh, we've had a few more. But um, but they, you know, their fans were very loyal, and and it was it was an experience, you know, for the fans and the band together. It was a it was a sort of a culture, and um, I, I I certainly don't want to compare us loosely to the Grateful Dead, but I think it, we sort of have a similar thing going with our fans, where there's a real relationship between the band and the fans. It's just yeah. minus the mushrooms in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. he's got the glasses Don, Don, on. Don, Don, we can't the tell. Lot. With yeah. the sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think as a general statement that bands today don't go out of their way to make that connection with fans the way that you guys have for 20-something years? Um, maybe some yo- maybe some younger groups maybe that that have just acquired or, or you know just fresh on the scene, uh, they might take it for granted. I mean, we've we've done it for so long. We've been away and we came back, so we don't take it for granted. You know, we treat our fans really well. Did you take it for granted back in the day? Not I, actually, not so much. But personally, I, I I I have a lot more fun with the fans now than I did before. Before it was just like I was very young and almost shell shocked. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just like a lot more relaxed with it, and I, I have a lot of fun. Plus, there's different ways to engage with them. Like y'all are both active. engage with them. <laughs> crack. <laughs> Computer crack, a.k.a. Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, you guys are all over Twitter and talking back and forth, and it's like you write back to somebody and you've made their world. Well, it, it's it's really an amazing thing. I mean, I, I used to tell a story of uh, I, I met a baseball player when I was younger. Well, I didn't meet him. He drove right past me, and, uh, <laughs> and I was kind of heartbroken. And I didn't think I was probably 10 years old, 11 years old at the time. I didn't think I'd ever really be famous, but I always made a mental note if I ever became famous, I would try to never do that. And Twitter is like the way to really like do that. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, I can I I mean just with a simple typing of one word, you know, I can touch someone, you know, over and over again throughout the course of the day and 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 Jordan does it hardcore and a lot of the guys in the group are really engaged in it and and I think it's it it's an amazing way to communicate with fans. It's an amazing way to network and to to stay dialed in. And, and look, I mean, both of us are here probably today because of Twitter. I mean, we we've had so much fun with it since the tour ended, during the tour, but since it ended, we've stayed so engaged with the fans through Twitter. And like, we get feedback from them, and you know, they they want to see someone. If Jordan's in a town, I mean, Jordan's whole thing he's doing here sort of evolved, you know, having fun with the fans. I mean, he can tell it better than I can, but. You know, I'm observing it through Twitter like, wow, you know, it's mm-hmm. like it's, you know, it's like, I mean, 
I went in the studio and recorded a song sort of for fun and I was tweeting about it and the fans were like we want to hear that song now and you know, I was like <laughs> okay and then it's like I'll play it for you in two weeks you know and it's like then the countdown begins and it's like it's it's all really just through communicating with the fans I mean that, that's it's why we're both here today. It's now, amazing. Let's talk about the downside of that. Because let's say a radio station decided they didn't like the word Hotlanta. Oh, Jordan, here we go. It's, it's, and, oh. And, let's, and, and let's say <laughs> one. Oh, it's uncomfortable. And let's say <laughs> one person. Here. Let's say one person who is coming into that radio station, Jordan, used the word Hotlanta in a tweet. <laughs> I didn't know. I had no idea. So, okay. No, it's not. That's, and then let's say that the newspaper heard me read your tweet on the air. And uh-huh. said, Jeff Dollar called out Jordan Knight. Right, right, right. And then let's say Jordan tweets that to his followers. <laughs> I only just, I, re- I retweeted the article. Dude, I didn't they were going to burn my house down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say, all I said, all I read was your tweet. And all of a sudden people are like, hey, we got Jeff Dollar, the biggest ass in Atlanta. <laughs> you just opened up a discussion. That's all you did. That's all you did. Uh-huh. And I, 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 asked, I asked around. And um, I was in the studio Two nights ago, after the <laughs> article, and I, I said, uh, there was a bunch of guys in the studio, and I said, yo, can I say, like, hot Lana? And they were all like, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's corny! Don't say it! Blah, 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 blah. I said, all right, I won't say it. Well, it'd be a little <laughs> bit. But everybody outside of Atlantic, they, they use it freely. And that's, that's where we can change. use you. Right, yeah. that's where we can use you and your celebrity. So Here's what we're asking you to do. It's definitely not hot here. It's definitely not today, cold. for sure. But, um... But uh, so what? What do you call it? Here's ATL? What, yeah, what yeah, or the A? Anything but hot Atlanta. Here's and and you brought up a great point because here's our point, is that here in Atlanta we don't refer to ourselves as hot Atlanta. But, like you but don't but refer they to did. yourself they as did. being. They did. Most a lot of Atlantonians did refer themselves back as hot in the Atlanta. day for sure. Right now it's sure. ATL. But it's, it's kind of like that's actually like twenty years old. Hmm. Right from Outcast. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But here's the thing: is like it's kind of like a high school yearbook. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you know. I mean, you you guys named yourselves Hot Atlanta, and now you don't want it anymore. It's don't fight us on that. We'll help you. <laughs> we'll help you. I, I, I you know. I, I mean, <laughs> I've already tweeted. I, I heard rumors about the the the. The war going on here. <laughs> when they you bring, play. You no, bring up the high school yearbook. Go back and look at your freshman high school picture and tell me if you would wear that outfit out in public today. Um, That's the idea. Yeah, like, exactly. I, I no no. I, right. I, I I can totally relate. I mean, I just I didn't think it was that severe of a of an issue for you guys. Down there. I got off the plane and the dude at baggage claim said, "Whatever you do, man, you don't call us Hot Atlanta." <laughs> like, uh, okay. For real? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you do, man. <laughs> it's uh, Donnie Wahlberg and uh, Jordan Knight in studio with the Burke Show this morning.